All right, today I'm going to show you how to use TCP dump to capture packets going across a network on a machine. So here we've got uh, an Ubuntu desktop, which I'm going to be using as the victim machine, and a Kali Linux machine, which I'll be using as the forensic machine. So the first thing we want to do, since we don't want to be creating a file directly on the victim machine, the first thing we'll be doing is setting up a Netcat listener on our forensic workstation. And if you're not sure what Netcat is, please see my other video that explains how to use Netcat. So we're just going to set it up on port 10,000, and instead of setting, sending it to a text file, we're going to send it to a PCAP file so that we can analyze it later. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go open a terminal, and we're going to, we have to have root access to do this. We're going to do sudo tcp dump, and then there's a whole bunch of different flags and uh, modifications you can make to this to this command, which will cater the the packet capture to your needs. And I've included a link to the man page of tcpdump.org, which will tell you um, all the different ways you can use this. But if you just want to capture uh, just the packets in a simple pcap format, this is a good way to do it. So we're going to do not host and then the IP address of our forensic machine. Now, the reason that we do this is because we'll be sending data from our victim machine over to the forensic machine. And if we don't tell TCP dump to not look at any traffic to the forensic machine, it's going to see that data that we're sending and just create a, a loop that's going to possibly overload the system or just create a massive file uh, of data that we don't need. So then we're going to do dash A, which uh, converts it into ASCII in, in, for the PCAP format, and dash N, which tells it to not convert IP addresses to uh, names, and that just saves some time in the, in the capture. And then we're going to do dash W dash, which pipes, which pi allows us to pipe out the data as a PCAP format. And then we're also going to do I forgot, sorry, that should be over here, dash I, and then your interface. So in my case, the interface is ETH0, so you have to specify which interface you're going to be capturing on. So that's the command that we'll be using to capture the data, and now we want to pipe that over to our Netcat listener. We hit enter, enter in my password because we told it to be sudo. And you can see that we're now gathering data. And over here, you can see that we've gotten a connection. So we'll leave that for a few minutes to get a little bit of network data. All right, and then we hit Control C to stop the capture on this side. And then over here, if we go in, if we go into our home directory, you can see that there's that PCAP that we had. And in another video, we'll talk about different ways to analyze this.